Hello, hello, welcome back to 999. Last time, 7 flashback, um, some, some information of how the, I guess how, how stuff went down in the experiment with the snake, Santa, Akane, and I guess Lotus's daughter, and, um, how Akane got toasted in the end. And I guess, like, the major question is, like, what is, I mean, why is Santa doing this? Because, again, I don't really think it's revenge. Because if it was, why would he be, like, Lotus's mom and stuff? Um, and what is with Akane? Is she really Akane? I mean, the idea of her being alive, like I said, isn't, like, that bad for me. Like, I think... Again, since I feel like the whole purpose of the experiment was to, um, was to make the chil children feel like they're in danger and, and wanting to escape so they can, whatever, pass the brain waves. <laughs> um, I feel like maybe faking some deaths of the children or whatever to motivate the other kids to try harder wouldn't be that, like, that out of the question. And it's not like they see the deaths. There wasn't the window. Like, it was on the other side, I think. Um, so, like, that's a possibility. Like, they just saw a fake corpse. On the other hand, there's the possibility that the Akane we knew, we know here, isn't the real Akane. And it's, um, what would that mean? Well, it would probably be a lot more complicated. But, like, maybe, like, Santa's trying to, like brainwashed someone into the other Akane. That's why they're having all these mental breakdowns and stuff, and she's such a freaking weirdo sometimes is a possibility, but I don't know, it's hard to say. And we still need to find out why Junpei was uh, brought to the ship too, because everyone... Now we have, like, everyone connected besides Junpei, in a way, so... Yeah. Anyways, we, we reached the incinerator, Ace took Lotus hostage... And, yeah, let's just go from there. There's Precedence Lotus's temple. I'm surprised he's doing this. Why didn't... He... I think it would be smarter just to, like, team up with Lotus and try to escape and then just kill her later. <laughs> I don't know. Ace had her pinned to him with the other arm and she was shaking visibly. Her fiery attitude was gone, replaced by fear. She didn't dare speak. There's sweat on her forehead, and her, and when her eyes weren't flicking up to the gun pressed against her, they seemed to desperately want to say something. Seven's deep, baritone rumble shook the walls. It's funny, I mean, obviously it made sense why he doesn't recognize people, but I don't think he's, he's gonna like the fact <laughs> of who Seven is. Oh man, dude, no, I totally understand. You are definitely the victim here. <laughs> Jinpei's voice was casual, or at least it was trying to be. We got the... we're a receiver, what can I say? Jinpei couldn't say, he just knew. Another unexplainable mystery. Behind Ace, Junpei could see the red. Ace, yeah, Junpei could see the red. It was placed in a small indentation on the wall. Quickly, Ace placed his hand on the scanner. It beeped and he forced Lotus's hand onto it as well. Then at last, he reached into the pocket of his jacket. 
He pulled something out and pressed it against the panel. The third asterisk appeared on the red. The thing he had used for the final verification was the bracelet with the number 9. Yes. <laughs> He's, his smirk made Junpei's blood boil. Jinpai's hmm. eyes flit towards Santa. Dude, what a. <laughs> the secret twist then. June is zero. Dude, I. It's. It doesn't make. I mean, it, it can make sense. It can make sense, but. It, it's a. It's a, a very, really, very complicated. I don't know. I, th I, I do think Santa is zero, but, um, June's still a freaking weirdo, so she's a mystery. Don't count her out. That's all I'm saying. He hadn't moved since they entered the room. Santa was still holding his stomach and groaned as if in immense pain. Junpei wasn't sure if it's real pain, but he wasn't sure if it wasn't either. とにかくこれで何もかも終わりだ。私はこのゲームをクリアし、君たちはバッドエンドを迎える。さあ、それで残された時間を楽しんでくれたまえ。そう。バイバイ。待て。Isef <laughs> tore Peno Heed to Seven's request and laid hold of the lever on the red. With a sickening sense of finality, he pulled it. Oh. You got baited. <laughs> oh man. Lotus tries to take advantages, advantage of Ace's confusion and manages to twist herself out of his grasp, but. No, Lotus. At the last second, he grabbed hold of her wrist and shoved it onto the red. He waved the number 9 bracelet over the red again, and then his own bracelet as well. I mean... It made sense that like maybe the 9 bracelet isn't a 9, because June's is 9, but it doesn't because he opened the ninth door in the last arc with Lotus's and um, Kubata's. <laughs> so, I don't know what's happening. As Santa's using some hats right now. He pulled the lever a second time. You're Brit. Ace's fear and confusion had overridden all other thoughts. He had set down the revolver. It was just below the red. Seven chose that moment to act. He moved far faster than a man of his bulk should have been able to, and he launched that bolt straight at Ace. Unlucky. It was over before they knew it. In the blink of an eye, Ace was on the floor. He rode onto his side, groaning in pain. Lotus ran straight for Junpei. She darted around behind him as if and stuck her head out, making sure to keep Junpei between herself and it. For some reason, I thought she was about to hug Junpei, but that wouldn't really make sense. Uh, good one, Seven. Saving the day as per usual. Seven stood over Ace, his breathing slow and heavy. Bro, he's not making it off the ship. We're yeeting him. 
to the bottom of the ocean. He's planted his hand on the floor and shook his head. Jinpei walked over to him. Or walked toward him. He stopped and looked down at Ace with pity on his face. How did he kill Musashido? That's that's the question I want answered. He appeared at Jinpei genuinely confused. ま、そして難なく自分の手を汚さずに殺害に成功した。同居 他の者たちにとって脅威以外の何者でもない。Well, そこでお前はいずれ脅威となるであろう9番の存在を2同時にお前はそのオールマイティな存在である9番の番グルを手に入れることによってこのゲームを有利に展開しようと企んだそうして手に入れた9番の番グルは二次先殺害時に実際に利
maybe I didn't get that across when I was talking to commenters, but I said it was weird for Ace to reveal his past occupation to Santa when I, before we got all that confirmation on Santa and stuff, when I said it sounded like Santa was just making up the conversation about Ace being the pharmaceutical company CEO when he was talking to June just to like kind of push June to get an answer. Or not June, Junpei. Because like he, he, he was like, th that was one of the reasons why he killed Kubota, right? And possibly Snake because he doesn't want people to know his past, so. Yeah. <laughs> I also just realized my my microphone's not in the right position. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. その時に使われたのがさっきお前が持っていたクボタのバングルだ。お前はそれをレッドに飾し、続けて自分自身の認証を済ませてから最後に虹崎の腕を掴んで強引に。I wonder what Niji Saki's bracelet was then. If we're going with the, there can't be more than one number. If the ninth man's bracelet is different, or is, or does he just have another two? I don't know. Oh, dude, I forgot. I keep forgetting in the intros. I keep, I keep wanting to make like a joke about it, but I know it's not really the place, but I guess I'll make the joke now. If you didn't know, because you didn't watch the Hidarashi stuff or whatever, my birthday was actually yesterday. I'm now 23. So, you know, if I suck at any puzzles now, I can blame it on old age, because I'm, I'm basically an old man now. Dude, I was, <laughs> I was trying to say that in the intro, but I forgot. Probably because it's my birthday is actually tomorrow. Technically, because I'm a recording this on a Tuesday, but, but yeah, you know, there we go, 23 years old, with the skills of a 60-year-old man, unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's the weirdo in the robe. Ah, まるいがまだピンピンしてるよ。人違いで助かったとはいえ、僕を殺そうとしていたなんて気分が悪いね。いや、そんなことがなかったとしても、あんたには見えたぎるほどの恨みつらみが溜まってるんだが。Good one. Good one. Good one. But Junpei kept his emotion sh in check and continued. Okay. Now this is the interesting one, because I have no idea how Ace would do it. No? Are you telling me he went into the room and killed? Oh, wait, really? So he just went into the room, killed the captain, and pretended he didn't? Basically, just skipped the puzzle. お前は懐中時計の時刻を合わせて扉の窪みに埋め込んだ。そして扉を開き、船長室へ。そこには武蔵堂がいた。その傍らには殺してくれと言わんばかりの一丁の斧だ。お前はそれを掴み取ると、武
in uh in Clover's pocket, which means that Clover killed him, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, I mean, like, what happens when Ace goes into the Sith store? And the whole stuff with Clover disappearing happens and gets killed by Ace. Because if Clover had the Zero Bracelet, then she must have killed that guy, but I don't know. So, そして、武蔵道は間もなく息を引き取ることになった。その後、お前は何食わぬ顔をして再び海津室に戻ってきた。ああ、ちょっと順平君に話があってね。来てもらえるかい？俺はお前に誘い出される形で、総出室に向かった
最初から殺すつもりだったというのは正解だよ。証人とやらを始末するために、私は船長室に赴いたんだ。Is had confessed everything. What energy he had left him with the truth, and he said on his knees. Although he had confessed, his sins were not forgiven. Jinpei felt revulsion for the pathetic man on the floor near his feet. But in, among the revulsion was a hint of pity. After all, it had not been the only person who murdered those three men. Jinpei spoke quietly. うん。ああ。どうやらその夜だな。私はただの傀儡。空物に過ぎなかったらしい。私が現場に足を運んだ時には全ての汚染立てが整っていた。大病室のレッドには基板が差し込まれ。2時先には殺せと言わんばかりに大野が放置されていてどこにいた武蔵堂には抵抗できぬよう麻酔薬が打たれていた2時先にもだ今思えばどうしてそんな分かりやすい罠にはまってしまったのかと自分では呆れるほどだよさ
That's what I said. It just doesn't. Then I'll just say that then it doesn't make sense why he brought like Junpei Lotus June seven if it was just revenge. Like the perfect revenge would be, and if he really, I mean, just not doing all this. But if he wanted to do all this, just bring those people who set up the game. Cause I think Snake said there's like nine or ten of them. That was like the the squad who made this all happen. The four was just like the ringleaders. But yeah, I mean, I mean, it made sense. It's a side purpose. Question mark? To save Alice? Is wait? <laughs> Wanna hear some sit theorizing? You know, just just a wild one for fun. What if the June we have in the room is actually Alice and they switch places? Okay, I don't know what I'm saying, but that would be funny. Oh. Suddenly, Seven froze. His eyes went as wide as the dinner plates and he spun around toward June. Junpei followed his gaze. She was gone. Where did where June had been, there is nothing. Hey, she's zero? My meme Lotus theory wasn't right. <laughs> Though, like I said, June's a freaking weirdo, dude. At this point, it could literally only be June and or Santa, so... But they they did get me. I, I was like I was like a hundred percent sure it was just Santa to be honest. But mm. Seven began to mumble to himself, a strange series of words strung together as if his mind wasn't pro wasn't functioning properly. His face was twi twisted with effort, as though he were struggling with something they couldn't see. He gritted his teeth and pressed his hand against the sides of his head. I don't know what's happening. We also still don't know what Alice has to do with anything. I'm sure that will be explained soon. He's getting telepathically destroyed. <laughs> From somewhere far away, they all heard a deep, heavy noise. It sounded like a tremendous wheel slowly beginning to turn. Santa seemed to have entered an almost translate state. His words were calm and measured.携帯形成場仮説。建物の中に散りばめられた数々の謎を解き、その解放を形成場に書き込むことによって、ギガントにいる9人の兄弟に伝えるよう求められる。送信者は9頭、受信者はギガント。本来であればペアとなる兄弟がそれぞれ別々の
ここまで言えばもうわかるだろう。敵中継。お前はもううすうす感づいているはずだ。I don't, besides Junpei being like a, 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 a guy, <laughs> but I don't really understand how. I mean, Junpei does seem like a. I mean, he would have to be a transmit. I mean, he transmitted his, his, his stuff all the way to another freaking dimension, dude. Oh was Junpei supposed to be on the ship? Wait, I don't know. I'm just gonna let Santa talk. ニジサキの殺害方法についてそれは。それは。ファンツーとダディジジ。ヒニュービカズアイニュー。ジュンペイワズレシーヴィングインフォメーションダアイセントヒム。Through the morphic field set. It's simple, really. How do I know the alternate futures then? Um, <laughs> is this Santa POV? <laughs> oh, my. Imagine a river that splits in two like an upside down Y. A river flows from the top to the bottom, from a single stream into two branches. It only flows in one direction, it can never flow backward. Information is the same way. It moves from the past to the future, but never flows backward. That's why people in the river's source in the past will never know about those downstream in the future. But people downstream will never know about the one, one another either. Information only flows along the path of the river. But I am different. I can manipulate the morphic field set to pluck knowledge from the future. Huh? I know what happens on either fork of the river. Even though the people on either fork know nothing about one another. Yeah, this is the super, super morpho man that library, <laughs> that library was talking about, that snake was talking about in the library. Now, who am I? Dude, it's June. Who else? I am I, the ninth lead letter of the alphabet. But I am also zero. No, that's not true. I'm not really zero. Not yet. Perhaps you could say I'm less than zero? Zero is my future. In nine years, I will be zero. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Like I said, I'm 23 years old. I'm too. I'm too old for this stuff. My mind's old. I can't. Can't. Uh, can't um, absorb this information. <laughs> where? Where did she go? June. No, Akane. Where did you go? Santa. Why is Clover? Oh shit. Oh, Santa's got the gun. Jesse picked it up when we weren't watching. Looks like he's turned the tables on Ace, though. Wonder how he likes having a gun to his head. Sure isn't about to take the gun off him for a minute, is he? Ace isn't putting up any kind of fight. I mean, I don't think I would either, but he looks drained. I guess he's going for the door, huh? He doesn't need to verify to go through that door, but... I'm so confused. You can't go through any normal number doors with just two people. What the hell is he thinking? <laughs> yeah? That's it? That's all he's gonna give us? I wonder why this changed to adventure screen. We've never had like a cutscene change to adventure screen before. What the hell does that even mean? Shit, they're out. <laughs> and now the gate's shut. Looks like the rest of us are stuck in here. They're all looking at me. 
At least Seven's headache is gone. He seems to be alright. Well, I guess there's no harm in trying. Let's see if this door still opens. Why are we getting that? Uh, I don't know. I feel weird <laughs> reading it. Oh my gosh. Toasted. <laughs> oh, but he is. Shit, we gotta do something. Has there been, like... I mean, I just... I don't know. I'm tripping, dude. All the information has made me read weird. <laughs> Maybe we can still get out, get out through door 9. There's the red. I don't know, like, reading the thoughts just feel weird, but maybe that's... But obviously we've read the thoughts before, but it's just weird now. Yeah, alright, we can do this. I've just gotta... No, it's not gonna work. There's no way. The five of, of us can't open this door. Yeah. If there... Is there any combination that'll work? Yes, give it to Clover, the math master. The addition master, I should say. Sure, why not? I don't think I'm going to need them. Ever again. Well, she certainly looks purposeful. See, isn't this weird? <laughs> like, the, his thoughts are weird? Or is it just me feeling weird about it? Looks like she's writing equations, a lot of them. Huh? Oh man, she doesn't look very happy. What? Hey, no! No need to be ripping pages out like that. Jeez. Alright, at least Seven got it away from her. Maybe now I can look at what she was writing. Let's see. Who's trimmed Lotus? Uh, see a Lotus. Lotus. Looks like she's figured it out though. Man, this is just too cruel. No, Lotus. <laughs> the Lotus 7 chemistry. It's the best. <laughs> well, where the hell did that come from? Looks like she expected that about as much as I did. You know what it feels like? It feels like this isn't Junpei's thoughts and someone else is just commenting on it. Whether it's Santa, or it's probably like June or something. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, that's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like Junpei is thinking this. But I could be tripping. For a copy, she doesn't have much confidence. <laughs> that's a seven compliment. Dude, is it time for my pro strat? It's the human ladder. I said it last episode. Let's get a human ladder going. It's not like we're little kids, right? Somehow we got to boost 7 so we can pull out the vent, then get that going, dude. It's the ultimate plan. At as tough as you want, Lotus. We can all see you're about to cry. ただ。どっちにしろ。扉は開かないんじゃないかな。4人で認証を託しても。え、どうして<笑> Yeah, it wouldn't open, even with the number combination. Also, now I'm like, oh, now I, I feel like my brain is sobered up. 
and now I'm like a hundred percent sure my idea that it's someone else's thoughts reading doesn't doesn't make sense anymore. Maybe I was just tripping, tripping off the Santa, the Santa drudge that he hit me with. I'm better now. Trust, trust, trust. Still think the human ladders the <laughs> the way to win. Yeah, just check. Okay, so it wasn't something weird like one of the bracelets didn't work. It's just the door's not working. Unless that's a sit. <laughs> Is that a sit backwards? Or reversed, I guess, is a better way to put it. Shit. If he can't get through the door, we can't get out. The walls are way too high. Yeah, I was totally tripping. I don't know what I was what was happening, but yeah, okay. There's no way in hell we could get to the whole seven popped out of nine years ago. Why not? Dude, don't underestimate the human ladder. If not, you have to like get the top person to hold. No, okay. Maybe I'm, I'm joking too much. <laughs> All we can do is stand here and stare at this window with a nine on it. This is serious stuff, Aiden. Calm down. I guess this is it. This is the end. Reach into the morphogenic fields. Ace, think of the way out. Acne vision. <laughs> hey, can I get out of Acne vision? Oh, no. I was watching. I had watched everything that was reflected in his eyes. Dude, was I right? That was Acne commenting? <laughs> hey, maybe I'm not. Dude. Maybe I'm actually a god. Who would have thought? I was listening. Every sound that vibrated in his eardrums I heard. Smell, taste, touch. I felt everything he felt. I knew. I knew everything about him. What he was thinking, what he was feeling, what he was sensing. All of his feelings and worries and fears became mine. My mind, my consciousness was inside of him. Through the morphogenic fields that we were resonant. And we were as one. I was him, and at the same time, I was an observer. It started with a tremendous noise like a clap of thunder. That was approximately nine hours ago. A bomb had gone off in the ship we were on. That was when my resonance with him began. My resonant event melted into him, and we became one. Inside of Junpei. Somehow I found myself in Junpei's mind. Nine years in the future. But I didn't lose myself. Uh, sorry, I need to tune my brain in again. I'm getting confused. So is this little June? Seen through future Junpei? I was living in two realities at once. One was the present and the other was the future. I think that's what's happening. Perhaps you can think of it as two movies showing on the same screen at the same time. Eventually, it becomes difficult to separate them and determine which movie is which. However, if I concentrated, I was able to focus on one or the other. That was why I was able to grasp what was happening in front of me. Yo, we got a full cast. Tiny Lotus's child. Little girl. Dude. That was my brother, Aoi. Aoi? He was yelling. I followed him. Around me were seven other children. They all looked like they were about my age. We ran down a long straight hallway and burst into the large hospital room. Everyone was arguing. Two of the boys got in a fist fight. A girl... Watching them began to cry. I want to go home, she cried. I want to go home. 
Another girl slapped the crying girl and glared down at her. Hey, that's probably Lotus's child. <laughs> it has been two hours since the nonary game began. We were starting to fall apart, but just when all hope seemed to lost, Light started talking. He was blind. Nine years later, we should call him Snake. We would call him Snake. He was older than most of us and his voice had authority and dignity. The fights died down and we gathered around him. Her name is Clover, and today is her ninth birthday. Is her real name Clover? Or is that June's dubbing it? <laughs> As he spoke, he pulled something from his pocket. In his hand were nine four-leaf clovers. To the squad. This <laughs> <laughs> my sister meant a great deal to me and I hoped uh, yes. Since it's her nine birthday, I thought nine four leaf clovers would be appropriate. なれ離れになった兄弟がいるだろう。彼らのためにも僕らは絶対に生きてこの船を脱出しなきゃならないんだ。そのためにやらなければならないことは3つある。みんなが If we can take all three of those to heart, then I promise that good luck will come our way. Those words are leaf words. I know he's saying that, it, but it's awkward pauses. He gave a clover to each of us, I took one too. Eventually, he was left with only a single four-leaf clover. He had one last thing to say. When he finished, the tension of only a few minutes before it was gone, we were calm. After that, we ran around the ship for a while longer and opened several of the numbered doors until we found a no door with the number 9 on it. In fact, there are two doors with 9 on them, and we found them in the chapel. We split into two groups and walked through the doors. I wonder if it was in the coffin. I guess not. It's weird it's there, though. Before long, we all found ourselves in a room with a ceiling that looked like an upside down funnel. For some reason, this room had a number number 9, but this time it was only one. But if there was only one door, that meant only five people could escape. We began to panic, then as if things had gotten, not gotten bad enough already. Not laughing at it, just laughing how it's not matching up, even though it's in English. <laughs> My brother Aoi swallowed hard and answered. Yakarilashi Yakarilu 
表のプレートに「焼却炉」って書いてあった。Not bad. <laughs> Abject terror filled the room as everyone began to scream and cry. Every pair of eyes were filled with despair. Then, seven, high up on the wall, a door opened and a man appeared. He was a huge, frightening mountain of a man as large as a bear. Nine years later, we would call him Seven. <laughs> The rest happened just like Seven had said it did. The four of us who stayed behind were saved by Seven. We crawled through the vent away from the incinerator and slid down the hall. We came out on the other side of the door nine. On the wall opposite of the door was a set of double doors. We went through these and began to run up the spiral stairs. As we ran, I led the way. Behind me were Nona, my brother, Aoi, Snake, and Seven. The other children, the other ones who'd gone through door 9 before us, were up ahead. I could hear them cheering each other on. We ran and ran and ran. We leapt across as many stairs as we could and kept running. The stairs spiraled upward like a tornado. Eventually, I pulled ahead of the rest. Perhaps Nona had slowed them down. I didn't want to lose them, so I slowed down as well. I didn't stop, but I glanced over my shoulder from time to time to see if they had caught up. That was when I realized. Did I drop Jumpy's present? I knew I had it with me when we passed through the vent. Then, had I dropped it as we slid out? I had to go back, I had to, but I knew I couldn't tell the others. They would stop me, I was sure of that. I didn't stop to think, I simply moved. I ran to the central hall, to the room that connected to all the other areas of the ship. I hid in the shadows, and moments later, I felt a rush of wind as they ran past me up the staircase. I waited until they were out of sight, and then I ran. I moved as quietly as I could, down and down and down. Finally, I reached the bottom deck. I ran into the hallway and looked around frantically. It was just where I thought it would be, sitting under the opening of the vent. I ran over and snatched it from the floor, but as I ran back towards the stair and freedom, The door to the incinerator opened and a man stepped out. It was Hondo, Gentaro Hondo. Nine years later, we would call him Ace. His smile made my blood run cold. It looked mechanical as if someone had simply pulled up the corners of his mouth. I shook my head, eyes wide. Slowly, I began to walk backwards. One step, two steps. Three steps. Then I spun around and broke into a run. I felt Hondo's hand close over my left wrist. There was an edge of insanity to his voice now. I pulled as hard as I could. I mean, if you were going for the revenge aspect, you can technically say Jinpei kind of <laughs> got Akane taught again. I can see that now. But obviously, it's something more than that. Some weird resonator stuff's going on. I shook my body and flailed my arms, trying desperately to get Hondo to let go of me. But I was still only a child. I was no match for a man like Hondo. He heaved on my arm, trying to pull me in into the incinerator. I screamed. brother help me then suddenly the door to the stairs flew open and my brother Aoi burst out of it behind him came seven and snake he tried out my name again as he leapt towards hondo i tried out but then huh you're too late idiot 
Hondo threw his full weight against my arm, pulling us both into the incinerator. The force of it threw me to the ground floor. I scrambled to my feet and looked towards the open number 9 door. Hondo stood between it and me, but behind him I could see my brother, his fist clenched. But those fists never reached Hondo. With the cold, heartless screech of metal on metal, the door slammed shut. Hondro glanced at me mechanically, his face registering that there was an object there, but not anything he would consider a human being. Then he turned away and walked to the red that sat next to the door. He reached into his pocket and removed two bracelets. He waved them both over the scanner panel. Two asteroids appeared on the red. He checked the screen, then tossed the bracelets carelessly on the floor. What was he doing? What was the point? He made no effort to explain himself, of course. He said nothing at all and walked past me as though I were nothing more than a rock by the rock's roadside. A few moments later... The two other doors stood shut as well. Faintly, I could hear someone pounding on the door behind me. I turned around and ran towards the door with the nine. I could hear a voice from the other side of the door. A worried, frightened voice. My throat was already raw, but I screamed as loud as I could. My voice echoed lonely around the empty room. Then it started again. Emergency alert. Emergency alert. <laughs> Emergency incineration command has been confirmed. Automatic Jumpy vision. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Holy shit. Man, I knew it was gonna I knew what it was gonna say, but that is one hell of a creepy voice. Oh! Okay, we're back. This is a great place to stop, by the way. Um, I do kind of understand what's happening. So I think I was right, where it was June compl like, commenting through Junpei's voice. And that's why it weirded me out, so yes. Pat on the back for me. And I mean, I did technically say it could be... <laughs> no, I mean, I thought it was Santa, 100%. And I thought June was just a freaking weirdo, and he was doing something weird. But I never thought... So from what I'm getting, June is like a super... A super transmitter. And Junpei is like a super receiver? Or is this just like June being a super transmitter and just like selected Junpei as a receiver? I don't know. It's hard to say, but it is clear that... Well, I don't know. <laughs> So she can pull stuff from the future, which means the morphogenic field, like, transcends time. <laughs> I, it's a lot to take in. You know what? What When when something's hard like this, I, li I like to say, let's just let it marinate for a bit. And when I record the next episode, like, in a couple days, maybe my mind will be clearer. But it is still pretty confusing, even though we did get a couple of the things right, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, that was 999. What do you think of that? That was fun. We didn't even check uh, the flow chart. I don't know how far we got, but we're getting there, dude. But thanks for watching, as always. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next week with more 999. Maybe maybe the final, final week? I don't know. I didn't check the flow chart. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!